children what did you learned in the previous class you have learned about some geographical terms what are the children they are axis axis is an imaginary straight line passing through the center of the earth the earth rotates around it second one children poles poles are the points of the planet where the axis meets its surface our earth has two poles north and south north pole and south pole third one equator equator is an imaginary line of way between north and south poles it divides the earth into two hemispheres northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere next one children latitudes latitudes children the horizontal imaginary lines running parallel to the equator are called lines of latitude they specify the north south position of a location on the earth from the equator children longitudes the long vertical imaginary lines running from one pole to another pole are called lines of longitude they specify the east west position of a location on the earth okay children now i am going to tell you about movements of the earth children there are two basic movements of the earth they are rotation and revolution how many basic movements of the earth two basic movements of the earth what are they they are rotation and revolution now i am going to tell you about rotation the earth spins on its own axis this moment is called rotation what is meant by rotation children the earth spins on its own axis this moment is called rotation it takes the earth 24 hours to spin once completely on its own axis in one rotation children how many hours does it take for the earth to complete a single rotation it takes the earth 24 hours to spin once completely on its own axis in one rotation the directions of the rotation is from west to east which direction the earth rotation starts the direction of the rotation is from west to east what is meant by rotation the earth spins on its own axis this moment is called rotation as the earth rotates some part of the earth are exposed to the sun while the rest are away from the sun this is how the movement of the earth brings about day and night now i am going to tell you about day and night the part of the earth on which the light of the sun falls experience day and the part that is dark and away from the sun experiences night from the earth we can observe that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west once again repeat children the part of the earth on which the light of the sun falls experience day 
and the part that is dark and away from the sun experiences night where does the sun rises children the sun rises in east direction where does the sun set children the sun sets in west direction one example children take one globe and one torch light the earth spins from east to east that is why it appears as that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west place a globe on a table in a dark room shine a torch on one part of the globe you will see that the part of the globe facing the torch is lit up now imagine that the torch is the sun and the globe is the earth the part that gets the torch light has day the part that is turned away from the torch light has night in this way you can see which part of the world has day and which has night okay children understood let us recall the moment of the earth on its axis is called rotation rotation causes day and night the earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation children one example the passengers in a moving bus the road side trees appear to be moving backwards in the opposite direction why who is really moving the trees the bus or the passengers or both the bus and the passengers the same is the cause with the sun also it does not move it is the earth which really rotates along with us from the west to the east so the sun appears to be moving in the opposite direction which is not true children now i am going to tell you about revolution the earth also moves along a fixed path around the sun the path is called an orbit this movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution what is meant by orbit orbit means the path of a planet what is meant by revolution children the earth also moves along a fixed path around the sun the path is called an orbit this movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution it takes 365 one by fourth days for the earth to go around the sun this is called a year how many days does it take for the path to a orbit the sun 365 by 4th days revolution causes different seasons like spring summer autumn and winter the earth takes 365 one by fourth days to complete one revolution hence normal year has 
थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डेज वेर एज ए लीप ईयर विच कम्स वंस इन फोर इयर्स हेज थ्री सिक्सटी सिक्स डेज फिब्रवरी हेज ट्वेंटी नाइन डेज इन ए लीप इयर वंस अगेन रिपीट चिलड्रेन रिवल्यूशन कॉज डिफरेंट सीजन लाइक स्प्रिंग समर आटम एंड विंटर children how many years does a leap year comes once four years leap year comes once in four years the revolution of the earth brings about changes in seasons on the earth at different times of the year the seasons vary from the northern hemisphere to the southern hemisphere for example when the northern hemisphere enjoys summer the southern hemisphere has winter okay children understood the movement of the earth around the sun in its orbit is called revolution the earth takes 365 1 by 4 days to complete one revolution children look at these pictures do you know aryabhatta varaha mihira baskar these all are the great indian astronomers of the early period like aryabhatta varaha mihira and baskara revolved many startling facts about the earth they found that the earth is round they also explained about its axial rotation and revolution around the sun they also explained about its axial rotation and revolution around the sun they calculated the movements of other planets and the eclipses accurately without using proper instruments in those days children you know that the earth is in continuous rotation and we are living on it but we do not feel the motion of why the earth is rotating at a fixed speed all the living and non living things including the atmosphere and us are moving along with the earth at the same constant speed so we do not feel that the earth is moving okay children understood rotation revolution leap year astronomers children today's home task learn and write these hard words learn and write these hard words three times children hard words children first one rotation second one revolution third one leap year fourth one orbit fifth one planets children rotation r o t a t i o n one second repeat r o t a t i o n rotation second one r e v o l u t i o n revolution one second repeat children r e v o l u t i o n revolution third one children l e a p l e y e a r e a r l e a r l e a p l e 
Y E A R ear, lip, ear. Fourth one, O R B I T, orbit. Once again, children, O R B I T, orbit. Fifth one, P L A N E T S, planets. P L A N E T S, planets. Okay, children. Rotation, revolution, leap year, orbit, planet. These five hard words learn and write three times at home. Okay, children. Thank you. I will meet in the next class.